Yes, guys and girls, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video by myself, as a 23. Um, I'm back from holiday, so I can start uploading some more videos, which is awesome. Um, this week, we're going to have a video each week. Um, this week is going to be Legendary Crafting within the PTS on Fallout Worlds Week. We're going to kick off uh, Monday's video, which is today, with the Legendary Fixers. Um, so we're going to do 30 rather than 50, like we did in... Um, the handmade one. I felt like 50 was just so much. Um, 30 should be alright. I think 30 is a nice number to be fair. Uh, before I before I get into it, I just want to say thank you to everyone that left comments on my previous video um, about my little dog passing away. Like it's it's so crazy to think that you know you guys come to my tiny little corner of the internet and and you say these nice things and you take time out of your day to do these things i think that is absolutely amazing and it does not go underappreciated at all i do um i do appreciate every single one of you guys thank you so much but yeah we're gonna do 30 um fixes today i'm gonna go craft them right now um while i go craft them if you could subscribe to the video that would be uh, subscribe to the channel should i say not a video that would be absolutely amazing if you could even like the video as well if at the end if you do like it and um of course do leave comments i'm gonna quickly gonna craft uh 30 uh fixes on here I, I won't bother showing you all because it's you know what it looks like crafting fixes um pretty pretty straightforward yes guys i've crafted 30 fixes they're all here they're all just looking mad um, let's see if we can get a better fixer than the, the, the one that I do use quite a lot lately, which is my anti-armor explosive fixer. Um, between this and my quad, uh, fixer, I just, I do like using this. What else have I got there as well? I've also got that. If you guys can remember in the handmade one, we didn't get a single bloodied roll, which was mental if you ask me. So, um, let's quickly go and do this. I'm quite excited. Um, I really enjoyed doing this last time. Um, this is the, the benefit of Fallout Worlds, I guess, is I can just literally roll these for free. doesn't cost nothing. Um, so this is obviously more of a, like a what if scenario or a how many cores would this cost you kind of thing to get, um, you know, the best possible fixes and stuff like that. So let's start with the first one, uh, modify three stars. Aristocrats. It looks like it's an Aristocrats mod. Um, damage increases as caps increases. Last round in a magazine has 25 chance to deal two times damage and plus one agility. So it's not too bad. Um, I don't mind the Aristocrats mod. Um, a lot of people have been using it to be fair. It's, it's pretty decent. So it's, it's a decent starter. A decent start to the video to be fair. Let's go again. This time we get Executioners. Um, it's explosive as well and it breaks 50% slower. So that's not too bad. Executioners is a nice uh, a nice effect to be fair, especially against those big bosses. Um, as soon as they're sort of below 40% health, you can just do insane damage against them. And then with having explosive damage as well, you can multiply that by quite a lot. So that's that's pretty decent to be fair. I do like that. That's not too bad. It's alright so far. What we got this time? Exterminators. Now that's not one of my favourite ones, but it does have a 25% faster fire rate. And plus one perception as well, but of course we don't really like them situational effects with the with the mylurks and bugs. Uh, plus fifty percent damage to them. Not a big fan of them, to be fair. Let's keep it going. That's only the first one that's not really that decent. Ghoul slayers, another one that's situational. Um, fifty percent damage to ghouls. We do get the explosive bullets, which is always nice, and vast critical meter filling up fifteen percent. That is such a two out of three gun. That is really nice. If you swap that damage to ghouls to anything decent, say the aristocrats, anti-armor, um, quad, anything like that bloodied, which just never happens, um, then you've got an absolute beast of a gun on your hands. But even still, the explosive damages and uh, vast critical meter filling 15% faster is quite nice, especially if you're, well, you, you tend to be using criticals when you're wearing, when you're wearing a um, assault rifle. And when I say wearing, I meant using. <laughs> Let's go again. Let's see. Exterminators again, okay, second time we've had exterminators, but it does have the 25% faster fire rate, which is a very welcomed effect, as you all know, um, and we also get plus 50 damage resistance while aiming, so overall that's quite trash. If you didn't have, like, any decent fixes, it, you know, it would be nice to have the 25% faster fire rate if that was all you had, but outside of that, it's quite trash. Let's keep going. Anti-armor, always nice. Replenish action points of each kill, nice. And plus 250 damage resistance while reloading. Now, I'll be honest with you. 
I haven't really used um, replenish action points with each kill, but that sounds very nice. Um, we've got one of the best effects in anti armor. Um, action points replenishing after I've killed does sound nice. Unfortunately, the last effect is just plus 250 damage while reloading. Um, that was, I hate that one, especially considering how fast you can reload these assault rifles with the right perks and builds. Um, but yeah, you know, that's alright. Anti armor is always decent, and the second effect I can't really comment on too much, but it sounds like it could be a wavy one. Let's keep it going. Next one. It's Berserkers this time round, which means the lower damage resistance increases damage dealt. We've got 25% faster fire rate and faster movement speed while aiming. I'm not a fan of Berserkers, mainly because I've never really used it. Um, I may actually try and use it um, in the future, but yeah, it's, it's never been something that, that I would. Uh, I would go looking for 25% faster fire rate is always very nice. Faster movement speed while aiming is just pretty boring. You're going to use VATS if you're an assault rifle, let's be honest. Um, come on, let's hope for a, a bloodied here. Still no bloodied, but we do get mutants, which means the damage is increased 5% by each mutation. I believe this caps off at 5. 25 Mate, this is a gun and a half. Oh, are you mad? This is a great gun. Damage increases um, while mutated, I believe it's 5 um, mutations, which pretty much everyone always has, so that's pretty much 25% extra damage. 25% faster fire rate, insane, and VAT's critical meter filling 15% faster. That is a brilliant gun, I really really like that. Nice, I'm happy with that, that's a lovely gun. Wow, be interested to see if we do get any bloodied though, as I was uh, about to say just before pulling that, I like that gun. Um, yeah, I like that. Wow, that's definitely going to be in a in a showcase video soon. Let's go again. Medics this time. Nah. Uh, that uh, will obviously heal you and your group with the criticals. You get the action points uh, with each kill as well, and 25% uh, less vax action point cost. So uh, if you take this gun for what it is at face value, a medic support weapon, all those effects kind of go hand in hand with each other. So. That is quite a nice support gun if you wanted to be the support guy in your team. So like it's not it's not trash, it's not great, but it is a gun where all the effects complement each other, which I do like seeing those kind of those kind of pulls to be fair. So yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, let's go again. Come on, come on, come on. Freestar, boom. Junkies, very nice. Uh, vast critical shots doing plus fifty percent damage, also very, very nice. And plus 250 damage resistance, which I'm not a fan of, but you know, junkies is a very, um, very viable option. And obviously, vast critical hits doing 50% damage is very nice. Uh, previously, I would have probably preferred junkies, um, but now, obviously, with the mutants one, you can have the extra damage while just keeping the mutations you would have normally had, so you don't have to take any buffs or well, any extra um, nerfs, sorry, to your special like you would have beforehand. So like before the the new effects, if I wanted to run junkies and I and I was mutated, I had to take them extra hits to my special just to get the junkies benefit. So yeah, I think mutants just is a better option nowadays. Um, but yeah, still still a good build, junkies. To be fair, always been a fun build. It's been around since the OGs. Let's try and get bloodied, man. Vampires, I do like our vampires. We get the 25% faster fire rate as well, and 50 damage resistance while aiming still feels like we've had that quite a bit to be fair obviously the main effect with vampires is gaining health regeneration when you hit an enemy it's always been a strong uh, strong legendary effect always been one of my favorite ones uh, so yeah that's not too bad especially with the 25% faster fire rate because you're hitting enemies 25% faster than you normally would with a vampire's effect you just you don't need a stim pack with this gun let me tell you geez you will not need no stim packs Let's go again. Try to get that bloodied. Come on, man. Let's speak it into existence. We get a quad with plus 25% damage while aiming again and 90% reduced weight. That's um, that's a stinky gun, man. You know, quad is always nice, but other than that, it's, it's quite stinky, bro. Like, jeez, not a fan of that. Hopefully this next one, you know, will be a little bit better. <sighs> guess not. I guess not. Um, we get the 50% limb damage, we get the plus 1 perception, and play 50% damage to humans. If you're aiming at a human's head, then poof, Jesus Christ, you're blowing it off. But yeah, um, not so good there, to be honest. Um, but 
yeah, if you are fighting against humans and that's you know fifty percent for the limb and fifty percent just because they're human, you're doing a lot of extra damage. Um, but yeah, it still is very underwhelming. This time round, we get a bloodied, the first bloodied of this series. So we did fifty handmaids beforehand, and now it's taken however many that we've done so far to get a bloodied. Wow. Um, unfortunately, the second and third effects are not that great. We get plus fifty percent limb damage uh, and plus one agility. Head does count as a limb, so that's not too bad. Um, you're gonna, probably going to be using vats with this gun anyway, and you're probably going to have really good aim. So. That's pretty decent, uh, but finally we got a bloodied. Just as ever, whenever I get a bloodied one, it's never, it's never like that great. But what's that? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got 15 or 16. I can't remember how much I counted there. 15 or 16. So it's basically taken us about 45 to <laughs> about 45 what pulls. Including the 50 that I've done with the handmaid to get a bloody gun. That is insane. Watch now, we'll get five in a row. Let's keep it going. We get another junkies. This time with 25% faster fire rate. And it also has a vast critical meter filling 15% faster. Oh my god, if you'd have put that second and third effect on the last gun, on the bloodied one, I would have been jumping for joy. But unfortunately... Um, I say unfortunately, Junkies is a great effect anyway, like I said, but unfortunately it was it just come a little bit later, those second and third ones. But overall, that is a nice gun. You're going to do a lot of damage with that gun, to be fair. You're going to kill people very, very fast. Uh, come on, we keep going. So we are just over halfway as well. Um, and by the way, guys, if you are enjoying the content, please do, you know, just subscribe to the channel. It means it means the world to me. Um, I'm going to try and do this series a lot. A lot more often I enjoy doing this one it doesn't cost any of my materials I don't have to keep farming stuff I know um, we don't keep them but we can also review them within the same world so that's always quite nice um, this time we get the executioners um, with the 40% health doing extra damage um, I would have died in such a way so basically you're doing 50% more damage when the target is below 40% health bashing damage which is the most disgusting effect ever and plus 250 damage resistance, so that's just a, a shitty gun to be fair. We'll move on to the next one. Suppressors this time round, which reduces the target's output by 25% for 5 seconds. Same as the perk. Um, you also get plus 50% VAT hit chance, which is very nice. That used to be 33, didn't it? I'm sure it used to be 33. And we also get VAT critical meter filling by 15%, so overall that is a very, very tasty gun. I'd say that's in in a top tier bracket, but not 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 like right up there top tier, but it is a high tier um, gun. If you ask me, the second and third effects are great. Um, really do like that. That's nice. Three star again. Come on, two shot. First two shot with nice, nice, nice ones again as well. Like I said, I've, I can't really comment on the replenish action points of each kill. I need to put that to the test. But we also do get the 25% less VAT action point cost, so that is nice, man. You're going to be using VATs, you're going to be critical shotting with this gun, and then you've got the 25% less action point cost, and you're also replenishing action points every time you kill someone. When you're clearing out an area like West Tech, or when you're clearing out people in like the first um, daily ops, which is decryption, you're going to be laughing. But like I said, I don't really know how good that replenish action point with each kill is. I'm pretty sure someone commented on the handmade one saying it's not as great as it sounds. I need to put it to the test myself. Angry Turtle probably has a video out there, I would imagine. Such an informative guy, so yeah, I might take a look on his channel, see if he's got a video for that. Moving on to the next one. Bloodied again! Come on! But, unfortunately, we've got trash effects with it. We get faster movement speed while aiming and 50% limb damage. But it's crazy to see that we've got two bloodied in less goes than what well, we didn't get any in the handmade. It's quite mental to be fair. Um, shame, shame. I got excited that we had bloodied and I see the effects and I'm just thinking to myself, that is trash. Ah, it's a shame. We go again. This time we get suppressors again. Um, replenish action point hits, uh, action points with each kill. And 50% damage resistance while aiming. Um... At the risk of sounding like a parrot, I can't comment too much on the second one there, but um, yeah, it's quite a meaty gun that one is there. 
Uh, let's keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Assassins, which means we do plus 50% damage to humans. We get, again, replenishing action points of each kill. We're getting that a lot. And what I've noticed is when you get that, you tend to get another sort of vats or like action point kind of affecting um, effect again. So like with anything within vats obviously directly um, impacts your action points. So having them sort of go together is seems like a quite nice combo. So I'm quite interested by that. Um, it's a shame. It's a shame. There's an assassin's um, situational sort of effect. We we'll keep it moving. This time we get a medic with 50% limb damage and faster movement speed while aiming. That may as well just um, just be thrown in the bin. If you <laughs> that was crap. Junkies again. Explosive junkies with a 15% faster reload. That's nice. That's a good gun. You know, it's not the greatest, it's not the worst, it's just a good gun. Um, uh, anything explosive is, is good, especially when you add it to um, a primary effect that does extra damage as well. You're just going to do damage for days. Always always a nice combo when you get a, um, an effect such as like anti-armor or um, bl uh, junkies or anything that does extra damage on the first effect. And then you combine that with explosive and demolitions expert and things like that, you just... Whew, yeah, you're doing hella damage, man. Berserkers this time round. Um, lower damage resistance increases damage dealt. Bashing damage and faster movement speed while aiming. Trash, trash, trash. That is a free pointer of trash. Let's ignore that ever happened. Keep it moving. Zealots. I think that's the first zealots of the of the spree. Of the crafting spree. Um, we get a 50% damage to Scorch because it's a Zealot. Uh, last round in the magazine has a 25% chance to deal 2 times damage. I think that's only the second time we've pulled that in this video. And we do get plus 1 perception as well. Um, not a gun I would use to be honest. Quite quite boring gun. Um, we're on a roll of a uh, little bit rubbish ones at the moment. And I say a roll, I mean 2. Hopefully not a hat trick. Anti-armor, love anti-armor. Vast critical hits doing 50% damage as well. And we do get plus one agility, that's a nice gun, that's a very nice gun, you'd be happy with that. If you went to the purveyors and you had that, you'd be buzzing with that to be honest, that's a good gun. That's going to do some uh, some nice damage with the uh, the anti-armor and the 50% the damage on criticals, nice. Especially because you're going to be banging out a critical shot every 2-3 shots, so yeah, that's banging. This time we get zealots again, 25% um, damage while aiming and breaks 50% slower. I'm quite a fan of this breaks 50% slower effect, but it's not something I would actively chase. You know, if I had a gun that was, say, like, bloodied with faster fire rate and 50% slow, I'd be happy. I would. Um, obviously, that would be quite decent, but, yeah, you know, this is better than some of the effects you can get on that last slot, to be fair. It's not entirely desirable, but I, I do welcome it. I do welcome it. This time we got a quad with bashing damage and 50% damage resistance while aiming. It's quite trash. You know, it's nice that we get a quad effect, but you, know, you can reload these guns so fast now that it, it don't make too much of a difference when you when you've got quad. And personally, for me, I have this stupid habit of reloading out every time I kill someone, so I don't even unlock the full potential of my quad guns. Let's keep this going. This time we've got assassins plus 50 damage to human. Replenish action points of each kill, we haven't had that in a couple of rolls, and 90% reduced weight. Uh, nothing to really get excited about there. How many we got? Oh, this is the last one! Oh, this is the last one. They've saved the best till last. Let's get it. Let's see what we get. Boom. It's Juggernauts, which means the damage increases as health increases. Replenish action points of each kill and 15% faster reload. It's quite a newish gun, that is, in the sense that we got two of the newer effects. 15% faster reload is alright, like, um, for, for the third one, uh, replenish action points is decent. Um, I haven't put Juggernaut to the test, I'm actually trying to make a build that, that might be um, might be worth looking at for the Juggernauts. Um, just before I had some time off, I was looking at that, so I do need to pick up where I left off with that one. But, that was 30 fixes that we run there. Um, we had some decent ones as well. Um... There was a suppressors one that was quite nice, wasn't there? Is it, we've got the anti-armor there with the uh, the action points kills. Uh, the mutants one, that looks really, really nice if you ask me. Um, I'll tell you what, let me um, rename this to PP. So, purveyor's picks, that, that'll be a gun that I want to 
eventually do in the Purveyor picks because that does look uh, pretty nice. The damage is showing is 89, so I don't know if it shows. Maybe I might have to equip it to see the uh, the damage that I'll be doing there. We did also get, um, there was a really nice anti-armor one in there that we got. We got some nice junkies. We managed to get a bloodied. Um, we got some decent guns, to be fair. Anti-armor again there. Um, let me know down below which gun you think you, was your favorite. Um, which ones you would like to be uh, like to see reviewed in like the purveyor picks. Even though this didn't come from the purveyor. Yeah, you can see as soon as I equip that one, it goes from 89 to 101. That is very nice. Was it explosive? No, it just had 25% faster fire rate. So if we quickly, 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 quickly just chuck on some mods for this gun. Because you know as well as I know how much of a difference that 25% um, percent faster fire rate makes. It's absolutely insane. We go um, Prime Automatic Receiver. We'll go, um, we'll go a, lo a lined long barrel. Uh, what stock we're we gonna put? Um, is it? This feels like it's not all of them. Well, keeper is aligned. Uh, magazine. I was gonna put stinging, but I, it feels like I don't have all of them. We'll put perforate in. Um, yeah, we don't really need to change anything else on that. But yeah, just look off how much faster this gun fires at that 25% faster fire rate. And this is why I said as well, with this gun, you're likely going to be using VATs. Damage has gone up to 118 with those mods. This is a really nice looking gun. I'm definitely going to be doing a weapon showcase on this weapon. But guys, if you did like the video, please leave a like. Comment down below what, what parts, you, what guns you preferred. Um, whether you think it would have been worth in spending those 30 um, cores and, and etc. Well, I can't get my words out. Crafting those 30 legendary oh. weapons. And overall, do you think that was a hit or a miss? That uh, spending spree there. Let me know in the comment section. Um, and have a nice day. Cheers.